Well, so far that's two. You know, it's a it's a group that is still coming together. Um, I thought we played to the score a little bit in the second half um, and kind of lost the sharpness that we need to play with, meaning discipline on the defensive end and then offensively, you know, um, getting a great shot. Um, but there were some really good things in the first half. Obviously, I think we charted, what, 36 of our 40 possessions were either open shots, good shots, um, just a miss or a foul, um, and about half of that in the second half. So we just played to the score a little bit too much, uh, missed a lot of free throws. Um, but uh, yeah, good to have the second one, and we'll move on to the third. Was the defense something they were extra pleased with, especially in the first half? Yeah, I thought they did a lot of nice things in the first half, for sure. Um, we're still working on their activity, kind of not de deterring their discipline, you know? Um, I think sometimes they're so competitive, they think, I'm gonna make sure the other team doesn't shoot. It's more about, they. I want the other team to take a shot we don't want them to take, right? So that led to some, I thought, some cheap fouls and some going for things that we didn't need. So we're still working on the discipline, but I'll take activity all day and then we'll, we can always continue to tweak the discipline. Um, the only two departments that you guys didn't lead in were three point percentage and free throw percentage. Mm -hmm. um, but in some of the preseason talks, you were really excited about how well everyone was shooting from three. Mm -hmm. What were some of those struggles just coming from, from outside the perimeter? That's a good question. I mean, I think the, the, the guys that we want shooting threes, I think we, we, can make, we, can make, we can make more than that, you know. Um, obviously, they're worth mathematically a lot more, so 33% from three is better than 40% from two, right? So part of it, you play that out. Um, but uh, the free throw line, you know, I, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, they're, they're free throws, like they are free, right? So I, I don't know how to help you with that. We shoot a lot of free throws. We've tried everything under the sun. Um, it comes down to, I, th I think it... I think free throws come down to if you're, how are you as a shooter, for sure. But also, it's like, what do you say to yourself? Like, do you walk up and say, I hope I make this? Or do you walk up and you're like, say, I made this shot a thousand times in my life. And I, I can't speak for that, right? I don't know. But leaving 14 points on the free throw line is going to be really hard to beat a top 10 team. And back to the three ball, um, Renaya and Lexi were shooting it well. But um, Alyssa was having some trouble, not only from three, but just from the field tonight. Mm -hmm. How important were they in stepping up? Yeah, uh, you know, I think they're both uh, really key to what we're doing. Um, you know, we know Lexi can shoot it. Uh, you know, I, I like that she was able to go off the dribble a bit more, I thought she was more aggressive in, in passing lanes with her hands on defense. Um, when your fifth year kid is still getting better, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, she's more than just a shooter, but we needed her today to, to knock down shots. And, and Renaya is aggressive, you know, when she can continue to stay aggressive. Um, I think she can make some better decisions. Um, but you know her being aggressive, I I always like where we are in that when that's the case. Lexi, I'm sure people expect you to be making some perimeter shots and to hit a few tonight. Is that kind of in game two you've kind of shown right? This is what you can do. Is that a, what, what's that feel like? Yeah, it feels good. I mean, we trust this team shooting it from three. We've shot it really well in practice, and I feel like that'll just continue to get better the more that we're able to play to play together and just play in front of a crowd, get some more games under our belt. I feel like it'll just percentage-wise continue to keep getting better. So it feels good to have a couple more go in compared to our first game, and I just hope that we can keep trending in that direction. You had one really nice little Euro step in the third quarter, and the bench was super hype. Um, <laughs> just talk to me about like how your bag is deeper than just catch and shoot, or just threes in general. Yeah, I think Coach and I have talked about this, but last year I was just a little too content standing outside shooting threes. And so she's really challenged me. My teammates have challenged me just to do more pretty much and put the ball on the floor more win the paint more for myself for my teammates and just yeah be more confident with the ball in my hand mm -hmm. Renata, what's your takeaway from the game today what, what, what do you think is gonna be the super proud of the team like you know we've been fighting a lot during practice just everything but we do have to get better you know we have better competition coming and we just need to get better so we have to Good fighting no, like just the energy, passion. Okay. Yeah, we've been having a lot of passion lately, and that's we're trying to keep that up for the next competition. Yeah, shout out to you know uh, Blanca got ten boards, it's her career high here, uh, but basically in foul trouble a lot of it, um, you know, and needing her to get experience, so that was key. And then you know Sierra, uh, almost a double double, you know that was that was uh, you know so these guys are coming along. They're young, some young guys that we we're going to lean on, so it's good for them to get some experience. How important is next week? Um, stepping out of your comfort zone mm -hmm. a little bit, at least a different venue, a couple different venues. Yeah. How, 
important. Yeah, it's great. Great. We'll have our first, we had our first our first game is tonight. We had our first night game. Uh, next one, we'll have our first away game, and then um, you know our uh, the next one after that is your first TV game. You know, it's just a lot of firsts for this group. So. You know, it's why you do it is that you get you find out kind of each one where you're at and, and what you need to work on. And this group has responded. You know, um, there were moments where we really didn't play well. Um, but if I'm being real, I know part of it is it's hard not to play to the scoreboard. And I, you could say they need to be better, and I get it, right? But you know, we gave up 16 first half points when the score was it was more in the game, right? Um, so yeah, next week will be it'll be two new experiences for us, and then we come back and we um, have our first you know long road trip. So we kind of have. A lot of firsts over the next of the next you know kind of these first three weeks by design as we know we, our ACC is coming and that's a, a, a formidable challenge for this team. Lexi, you said you're challenged and you're challenging yourself and your teammates are challenging you to go beyond the three. Mm -hmm. Is that still your favorite shot? And if so, like where on the court? You like the wing? You like the corner? Um, I don't know. <laughs> where they're open, right? Yeah, <laughs> wherever I'm not guarded is the best spot. Um, I would say transition threes are the most fun yeah. though. Just uh, off the slice or off a throw ahead, um, when you can hit one of those, it, it's a big energy boost for the team. I saw you working with Sydney before the second half, yeah. and she was tossing in those transition like, <laughs> yeah. like passes. Um, is that what you work on a lot in practice too and a lot in the off season? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. And personally, I had missed a couple in the first half that I wanted to make that were that exact type of shot. And so yeah, Sid with her um, at halftime, uh, she was passing me the ball to get some of those looks to hopefully make them in the second half.